Greetings. You're about to hear how Keynote can help you monitor the cloud. My name is Ian Withrow, a Senior Product Manager at Keynote, and today your guide through this whiteboard of ideas. In this first part, I'm going to discuss the cloud in general and introduce the topics I'll cover in subsequent videos. Let's get started. First, let's begin with a quick overview of the cloud, especially since this term means different things to different people. The cloud, at a conceptual level, is essentially an evolution of the web. Before you might rent or have built infrastructure, and you create your site and foster a community, all while trying to secure your data and measuring how you did it all of this. Now in the cloud world, companies are going to increasingly lease time on infrastructure and platforms known as cloud computing. They're going to take their site and integrate it with a host of different third-party content and connect to existing communities like Facebook or Twitter. Once they've done that, they're going to open up their data and share it via web API for a variety of business reasons. And then they're going to measure how all these third-party systems and service providers are going to impact their service because now they're dependent upon them. Companies are doing this because the cloud allows their business to take off in a way that wasn't possible before. Naturally, already existing cloud solutions like cloud computing providers cut time to the marketplace. That's one of their core value propositions. They also let you start small and grow rapidly when your applications are successful. And instead of building a complete solution, you can now specialize at what you do best and leave the rest to other third-party content providers to integrate within your website. In the end, the cloud enables businesses to do more, take more risks, and reap the corresponding rewards all in a fraction of the time it used to. Of course, it's all not just a bed of roses. The cloud has generated a lot of concern in IT organizations, and this is natural because the other side of the coin from leveraging third parties is a loss of control and an increase in complexity. And these fears are not solely just irrational. There's some justification. Providers like Salesforce botch security credentials and other security checks. Amazon has certainly had its share of outages and problems. And even if you're really smart, like Google, there's always someone smarter like China. Now let's see how Keynote can help address some of these issues so you can enjoy the benefits I just outlined. Just as we have done for a long time with the web, Keynote brings clarity and accountability to the cloud. When talking about the cloud, there are really two categories of use cases, private clouds and public clouds. First let's look at the private clouds and its class of use cases. A private cloud is a network where only authorized organizations are approved to participate. This may be just your company's internal network, or it may be a group of partners, suppliers, and customers. What it's not is the general public and open to anyone on the internet. By contrast, a public cloud is a collection of services and systems that come together to deliver your applications to a person or device on the public internet. Public clouds can include your own applications, third-party content, and of course the infrastructure these are built upon. In our second and third videos, I will discuss the solutions Keynote has to offer these two different types of clouds. That's all for now.